Okay, you guys, I am so excited. The Miracrome collection is here. Um, it is eight different colors that can go on as a glitter or you can chrome them. Um, this is MR5 crown, which is also looks like this before it is chromed. Um, it is a very, very gorgeous rose gold. Um, and the fun thing, the good thing about it is you have, not only is it a chrome and a glitter, you can also have like a sparkly chrome, so you can kind of have the best of both worlds. Um, I'm gonna show you just one of those. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so we're just gonna kind of play around with it at the end of this video. Um, but the thing that I think is so cool about it is because I can wear it as a glitter, as an accent nail, as a full mani, or I can chrome it, or I can do a little bit of both. It just kind of, there's so many options you can do, and I absolutely love that. Um, I have already, so for the full chrome effect, they say that the best thing to do is to do Barbara. Underneath, which is their black, um, and you can use any black. Um, I'm sure you could probably use like a, if you had like a dark, um, pink or a red, or a, sorry, that is red, a dark red, a dark, um, like gray or something like that, that kind of matches that color tone instead of just doing a black. I'm sure you could do that too. Um, so they also comes with a, um, oh, uh, instruction card. So this is going to tell you from start to finish just how to do your nails for the best result. Um, I mean, it even goes all the way back to removing shine and um, putting, like, if you do pH prep and stuff like that. Um, so, I dipped Barbara twice. Um, on my real nails, I would probably do um, a half a dip of clear or, like, you know, my three-fourths that I normally do. Um, and three dips of Barbara. And then do the um you know you're activating and all that stuff that you normally do and then do the tack free gel chrome it uh, or cure it dip and then rub it and then i would probably put a clear over top of that um just to kind of protect it um but on the regular glitter i just did one, this is actually just one dip on the swatch sticks um so i just did one very simple dip just because it's so with glitter you can really get away especially if it's very pigmented and has a lot of glitter like this one um you can very much get away with one dip instead of two and because the i feel like i'm going to be using these so much i just did one so i wasn't wasting so much on my swatch sticks okay and without more of me talking we are going to go ahead and get started and just like in the holochrome um, video I'm going to put some note cards down just to kind of make it a little bit easier for a cleanup um, these are a little bit different than the um, holochrome just from the step fact of I'm curing for 30 seconds instead of 15 um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that um, and I will also show you what it looks like in the bottles before I get started and let me just go ahead and flip these over so that I can show you what they are going to look like okay and first we're going to start out with MR1 trophy and it is the gold color um, and I'm just going to put right here the color that it would look like in the sparkle um, and that way I'll compare at the very end or after I get done dipping it with the um, color to show you exactly what it's going to look like and I've already like I said I've already dipped in black twice um, black is Barbara for Ravel but again you can use any um, black color um, it doesn't matter really which brand um, and like I said I'm pretty sure you could probably do it with a dark color of the same color underneath um, and it should pull the same way because you're using it as a chrome 
I'm not 100% sure, so don't, um, don't back my, don't back me on that. Okay. And then I'm just going to cure for 30 seconds. Okay. And I did get my double dipped order in today, and I will be doing a video on that, but in between... Um, while we're waiting on these to go into the light, I wanted to, I got the, um, gels for the sub bag from, um, Sparkle. So this is, um, the sub bag for Sparkle from January. And then I have December's over here as well that we will, um, that I will show you after I get done because the UV light just went off. Okay, so I'm going to dip this into the powder. Um, it has been cured for 30 seconds and I'm just going to lightly tap to get the excess off. Um, and then again, I'm going to start on the corners. And you want to make sure you really get into that um, edge right there and then again up at the top um, obviously it's not really gonna matter on the swatch stick you just want to make sure that when you're doing your nails that you really get um, all around the edges and around your cuticles and because this is a swatch stick you're kind of gonna see like the um, effect right here so I'm actually just gonna kinda do the sides just a little bit on the swatch stick just to kinda make sure that on, when I flip it back over, you don't really see the ending where it ends. I'm also gonna try to get up here really good. And then you're just gonna wipe it off. Um, and the note card moved. And so I'm just gonna brush off lightly. And then a cure for an additional 30 seconds. And then when you're done with that, you can put the tack-free gel on and um, cure it for the full 60 seconds, and then you'd be done. Okay, and then I'm just going to, again, wipe it off, just because I don't want that on my other stuff. I'm just coming over here to the towel and wiping it off. Okay, and now we're going to use MR2 Champion. And it is a blue color. Um, we're going to be doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Tack Free Gel Top Coat on the trophy. And as you can see, it does look very, very gold. I think it is very pretty. Okay. And I'm going to cure that for a full 60 seconds. Okay. So the Champion is a very much a royally blue. Um, and then I will show you side by side what it looks like chromed and unchromed um, when I get done chroming this one. And the thing I like about this is pretty much the glitter you see, when you dip it, it's going to look exactly like that. Um, so that's awesome, I think. All right, so just going to um, brush on some gel tack free coat and put it in for 30 seconds. Um, I do like that I can have a little bit of both. Um, I like that with using like one color. Um, I will say though, I do like these. I think I like these a lot better than the holochrome collection. And I say that because I feel like the holochrome collection, yes, you can use it as just a glitter. But the problem with that is it doesn't, some of them look great as just a glitter. But I feel like some of them have too much of that chrome effect that it doesn't look as great as um, it should, I feel like, maybe. But maybe that's because it's meant to be holochrome and not meant to be a glitter. Um, or maybe I just did it wrong, but I felt like it was more powdery than it was glitter. Okay, and again, just gonna chrome around the edges. And I did go too far, a little bit too far up on my, um,
on my swatch stick. Um, so there is going to be a little bit more black, but when you do it on your actual nail, it shouldn't um, do that because you shouldn't go up too far on your nail, or if you do, you'll fix it when you file. Um, but because I didn't file on these swatch sticks, I did not do that, so I feel like I may need to go up some. And again, I'm just going to go down over my sides just to um, get that to make sure it doesn't look black through the swatch stick. Okay, and I'm just going to tap off this and just kind of wipe it off just to kind of get it off. And then I'll wipe it off on the towel over here. And again, just going to brush, 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 brush. And then you're going to cure that for again for an additional 60 seconds to finish curing it all the way through after since we brought it out so early. Um, okay, sorry. I had a phone call and it paused my, or it stopped my video. Okay, so I just let that cure for 30 seconds to finish curing. I'm now going to apply the um, Revell Nail Gel Top Coat again. And then just kind of put that back in the gel UV light for 60 seconds to let it finish curing and that is what it looks like in the jar and that was MR1 champion okay um I'm going to now use MR3 triumph and it is a fuchsia pink color um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Not chromed at the end of this. Swatch it. Okay. All right. And again, I have already done two dips of the Black Barbara. And I'm just going to um, put the top coat on and put it in the UV light for 30 seconds. Okay, and there is Champion. So there is Chromed and just the glitter. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to dip this down into it. And it doesn't take much. Um, as you can see, some of it kind of crumbles off. Um, and then again, just tap just like I normally would. Um, and I'm just going to get that out of the way. And I'm going to go and brush this off. And I'm going to just chrome it. And again, making sure I get the sides and the center as well. And then because it is a swatch stick, again, just gonna kinda get the back. Okay. And I was just trying to see if it would swatch on the back or if it would chrome on the back and it definitely does not so there's that okay and again just kind of brushing it off and I like to kind of brush these off kind of hard because there's so many like goopies and I feel like it needs to be brushed off pretty good Yes, Apache, what can I do for you? And again, I'm just going to put that back in for 30 seconds. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to dust this off into my little trash can. Okay, and we're just gonna put that back. I'm just um, 
wiping this um, little applicator off on a towel that I have over here just to kind of get that the majority of the other color over or off of them because um, I'm not going to, for swatch sticks, I'm not going to use a new applicator every time. Um, even on my own fingernails, I probably wouldn't use a, my, a swatch stick more than once. I mean, I would use it more than once. Um, I would not just use it once. Um, and I'm just going to go back in with, again, with the Tack Free Gel Top Coat. Um, just because I feel like if I wipe it off good enough, I can get a couple uses out of it. Um... And I feel like I don't want to be wasted. So, again, I'm just going to cure that for another 60 seconds. And then while I am doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get started on MR4 Metal. Okay. And let me... This is the silver. So, this is what, is it, is what it looks like. Just sparkly. I'm just gonna open it up and if you ever purchase from Revell you want to make sure you keep these things on um, because they help to not it for it to not leak um, because I've noticed that they leak more if I don't put it on there and put it back because when I first started using Revell I did not keep them on there I have since learned my lesson okay and again, just going to brush the gel top coat on there because I've already dipped twice with Barbara. Okay. And I'm going to put that in for 30 seconds um, so that it won't cure all the way. It'll just cure just enough. And there is the Triumph Chromed and Sparkly. And this is a very much a um pink it just makes it look funny because of the uv light so it is very much a fuchsia -y pink they do have a purple and the purple is very pretty but i don't know how it looks like chromed yet so there's that okay so now that that has done that for 30 seconds again i'm just going to dip into here and it doesn't take much like i said just kind of tap off the excess um, and I choose not to chrome over my, um, bottle or my dip bottle or whatever jar, um, because I don't like when it, that get the clumps in there. I feel like it makes it a different consistency and I don't want to dip later on and it, um, get the clump on me. Um, and you don't have to like press down hard, just a gentle rub um, will suffice. And my dog is whining again because he just came from inside, but he wants to go outside again. But he can't because it's cold and wet and rainy and it's just nasty. And he can't just be out there. What he really wants is to go out there because he hears the children next door. And all he's going to do is just go jump on the fence and scare them because he's a humongous dog. He's like 200 pounds at most. So. And again, I'm just watch, I'm just kind of rubbing on the back to make sure that I've got it because I don't want it to look black around the edges of the swatch stick. Um, it shouldn't look black black around the edges of your actual nail um I will be doing a video of me doing it on my actual nails I just haven't um done that yet because I just got them um so I'm going to cure it for an additional 30 seconds and while I'm doing that I'm gonna go ahead and start um on the next one i've already done mr5 crown which i've already showed you so i'm going to go ahead and move on to mr6 supreme and then i'm just going to put that in there and let it cure for 30 seconds as well okay and then I am going to put the additional jar, um, jar the additional 
um, gel top coat on here for its final step. And then I am going to let that cure for 60 seconds. Huh. This one did something really weird that I've never seen before. Um, okay. All right. We're going to try this one. This one might not work because as you can see, it kind of did something weird. So, we're just going to go with it. Okay, this is MR6 Supreme. And I've already put the gel top coat on there and cured it for 30 seconds. So, I just need to dip it, chrome it, cure it for 30 seconds, and then cure it again for 60 seconds after I put its last coat on there. And again, just going to wipe it off on the towel to get most of the glitter off. Okay, I'm just going to dip it in here. And tap off. Okay. And I'm going to try to chrome. Like I said, I don't know that this one will work. Okay. Yeah, it worked. We're good. I don't know why I did that. That's weird. It's really weird. It was definitely like something I did. It was not something Ravel did. At least I don't think it would. I think it might be because... The light cut off like kind of like in the middle and I had to get it restarted um, so that could be it I'm not 100% sure and I'm just trying to kind of get the sides where I didn't get I can't well I can't get in there with the brush so it'll be alright and again circular motions are best um, but because this is a swatch check um, I kind of like try to like to go down the sides just a little bit after I've done the circular motion when I first get on here um, on started on one swatch stick because I feel like it does a little bit um, I feel like I get more not more coverage but because it's a swatch stick I feel like I can take control more of it when it's when I do it down here on that side okay and I'm going to cure that for an additional 30 seconds and then I'll put the final top coat on and this top coat is really really smooth um there's been some people have said that they had problems with it um cracking and peeling and stuff like that but I have not had a problem with this one cracking and peeling um when I used to go to the salon and get gel on top of my acrylic I had some problem with it um, cracking um, and peeling, but only like right as so I was about to get have to get my mani done most of the time. One time it was like the day of, and I was like, I'm not driving 30 minutes to go back to the salon. All right, I just did um, another coat of the gel top coat, and I put it in there for 60 seconds. And as you can see, I almost forgot the little white piece that goes back in the lid. Normally, as soon as I take the lid off, I'll put it back in there, but I guess I just didn't for those. Okay, um, next is MR7 Legend. And this one is the purple. I'm so excited. I love the purple mainly because it's my mom's favorite color, and I love my mom, and I love the fact that she loves purple, so I'm sure that if I ever do her nails, it'll be this one. I have a lot of purples. Most of the time, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna buy that because I know my mom will like it even though I know I'll probably never do her nails because she gets her nails done at a salon and I'm a little afraid to do her nails because I feel like I don't want to do her nails and then they're not last or they not be good or something and then she has to like go to the salon and sit through that twice so I'm just like I'll do your nails if you want me to but don't expect much and it's not because of being product it's just because it was a learning curve for me to do my own nails when I first started because um, I I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what was going to work for me um, and things like that. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the gel top coat on. 
and then cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, and then I'm going to... Did I do a top coat on that one? Yes, I did. I think I did. Yes, I did. I did. I think. Oh, well. It'll be fine. It's a swatch stick. It'll be fine. Okay. And then I have one more after this, and then I will be done, and I will get started on my double-dipped um, um, thing, powders that I just got today. I don't know that I'll finish them all, um, because there is a lot of them. Um, but I will try, try, try my best to finish them. Um, might have to split it up into two videos. Um, but if I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow. And it should get posted either tomorrow or Sunday, I would guess. If I had to guess. Um, if I do get done with it today, I might upload it today. But I have several other videos that I'm going to be uploading because I didn't upload them throughout the week. Um, the Holochrome collection I have, um because I did that and then I think I did yeah I did a sparkling co um video so the ones that are on my nails I have a video for that and I'll upload that as well um I did do a gore video but I started talking about um Ravel a little bit more into debt than I wanted to and it was nothing bad it was just um just some things that I feel like they as a company should address um but that's not that's not my business um but it does have the gore um where i opened it on there um but like i said i i love Revell. i buy from Revell a lot the majority of my collection is Revell. um and again just gonna put the gel top coat on here and cure for 30 seconds um, but I do feel like there are some and very little minor things that they need to address. Um, one of which being the fact that their shipping, one, it takes way too long. Not their shipping, it's just who they use to ship their stuff. They need to go back to USPS because a lot of people do not like DHL, um, which that's, again, a personal preference. Um... And that kind of thing but I feel like um, they I just feel like things have been brought to their attention and they're not really doing anything about it um, and they're not like I said it's not big things it's minor things it's things like their uh, people are having trouble with their liquid gluing shut that when they package, they package, um, they package it all just in a bubble miller. And I've only had like a couple things come broken, but they did take care of me and get it fixed. Um, but it, it's just, it's just things like that that need to be fixed that have been, that have been addressed that have happened more than once on multiple occasions that need to be fixed. But it's never been bad enough to make me stop buying from Revell. And I'm one of those people, like, if you if you do something bad enough, I will not buy from you because I feel like, like, if you do something bad and you don't, okay, let me rephrase that. If you do something bad enough and I don't feel like you have satisfied me with your customer service, then I'm going to be like, okay, I'm just not going to buy from you anymore. I'll find someone else to buy it from. Um, but... If I feel like you really went above and beyond, you tried everything you could to make sure that it was right, then I'm okay. I will continue to buy from you. Um, but, you know, you have to really, like, show that, you know, you have to, first you have to own up to the fact that you messed up. And then you have to fix it. And I'm going to um, just put this on and go for 30 seconds but you have to really show that you know you really tried and things like that so they've never it's never been anything bad enough that I'm like okay no I'm no longer buying from Revell. uh no um so it, it's really it's really not bad um 
but I feel like as a company they should take these it's not that nobody's telling them because people are telling them it's just that they they aren't doing anything about it and they might be doing something about it behind the scenes and we they just haven't said it because they haven't gotten all the quirks mixed out uh finished and you know things like that and that's fine but you at least need to say hey we know these problems are happening and we're we're going to address them we're in the works of trying to figure it just kind of keep your customers in the know now i'm not saying they need to know every little thing but major things like that that keep happening and a lot of people have stopped doing business with them for that matter then that's that um but i'm just waiting for this last swatch stick and then i will show them all together chromed not chromed and that kind of thing um and go from there okay so i'm gonna go in order so i don't I make sure i don't miss any okay so mr1 trophy And then MR2 Champion. I'm just gonna open up the blinds to give a little bit of natural light. And I'll show you the other ones um, with the natural light too as well. Cause it looks a little bit dark in here. And this is very much, um, not very much light coming in. It is very rainy and nasty here today. So it's not like full sun and this is what it's going to look like in full sun. I feel like this this area right here that I'm at is very well lit and um, for this purpose. I feel like it really gives a true representation of the color. And here is the magenta or the fuchsia, however you choose to call it. And it really is a mirror. I mean, you can see... The reflection let me see if I can show you the reflection of the camera I don't know if you can see yep there you go so and my hair in the background <laughs> okay and next I'm going to use MR4 legend metal metal sorry my bad okay and this is the silver And I'm gonna try to see if I can get a picture of my face in the swatch stick so it really is like a mirror. I don't know that that'll work, but we'll try. I actually look like a human being today because I put makeup on um, and fixed my hair, so we'll see. Um, but here is Crown. It is the prettiest rose gold. Um, the chrome does kind of look like a copper, um, but in like, it's only in dark lighting, like so it looks like a copper here. But then in like very bright light, it definitely looks like a rose gold. Um, but and I'm not saying like bright, bright, like just as you can see, it looks kind of rose gold right there. So just like more lighting than what I have in here. And I'm going to work on that. Um, I think I have a light. I just got to figure out how I'm going to be able to plug it up and have enough room to do everything else too okay and here is the purple and like I said it's so pretty so so pretty and that was MR7 legend um, and I missed six because I got so excited about the purple my bad and this is the red um, so it is a red glitter and a red chrome and it almost it almost looks like a burgundy chrome kind of um, it reminds me of like a perfect for like the Alabama um, you know, State of University. So I live in Alabama, so you know, I'm just kind of partial. Um, I'm not from Alabama, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is MR8 MVP, and this one is kind of like a gray with a but a blue toned gray. Um, it definitely does have a blue tone to it in the um, glitter. Okay. All right. And again, super easy. Um, that was all the colors. Um, and it didn't.
didn't take me that long. Um, like I said, these videos always wind up longer than what it would be like in real per life person because I'm trying to make sure that the um, camera is right. I'm, you're actually seeing what I'm trying to show you in the camera um, and then making sure that, you know, everything's done right. Um, it takes a little bit longer because I'm doing them one by one. Um, and having to use the gel UV light. If I was doing my hands like you saw in my sparkle video, it took me about an hour to do my nails. Um, and again, the, a little bit of that time is me talking and trying to make sure that you can see what's going on in the camera and things like that. Um, but if I was doing one color to all fingers, I could do, you know, all of them in one color. I wouldn't be opening and closing and putting one hand in the light and curing after each nail. Um, so that's where a lot of the time um, gets used up right there is in the UV light when I'm doing it one by one. But if you were doing your actual nails in your whole hand, you'd be doing your whole hand at one time and not one finger at a time. So that adds a little bit of time as far as that. Um, I will probably be doing a chrome manicure um, when this sparkle comes off, I want to see how long the Sparkle & Co. dips will last. Um, and I did find out that the Sparkle & Co. Um, base bond number two is their um, what you put on first and then dip the liquids in. So um, there will be a mani where I use um, an entire like Sparkle & Co. base liquid and their powders um, but I need to try out double dipped first and I also want to see about getting all of their liquid all of Sparkling Co liquids before um, and I have a list of ones that I want to try and kind of do kind of because I want to try them and see which one I like better be, better and best for me um, but I also want to kind of do, if I'm going to do that, I kind of want to make a video of it and kind of do reviews. I know that there's more like videos out there of people like comparing one brand to the next, um, and that kind of thing, but I want to do it for me and I figured if I'm going to go ahead and do it for me, I might as well just go ahead and video it as well. Um, I do not do these videos for content. I do them because I enjoy doing my nails and, you know, I want to make sure that they're I'm giving an honest review I I enjoy knowing that I I am giving the honest review um, and that's not saying that anybody else is not giving an honest review I really don't watch a bunch of other youtuber um, nail people because I kind of I don't like to I don't like to learn how I like to know okay these are the steps these are how it's gonna work and then I kind of like to go off of that and find my own way um, to do things. And that's just personal preference because I feel like if I look at somebody and I'm like, okay, so this is how it's going to be done. Then I feel like that's how it has to be done. Um, and I don't, it's not that I don't want to feel like it has to be done that way. I just want to know that I can kind of put my emphasis on it. Um, and because I have done my nails, I feel like for long enough now, I'm kind of getting the hang of what the simple steps are um, as far as what works for me and kind of doing just the kind of trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work and that kind of thing and I feel like I'm finally getting to a point where I know what works um, and how I like them to be done and things like that so I don't need a new technique coming out where I feel like I have to relearn that entire thing again um, but when I'm trying to like learn how to do an ombre or things like that, I will go and watch um, because I want to see, okay, how does this person do it? And I like, I like getting all of my options to see how they, how they have been done and then going from there. Um, so that's all I have for this video and this is all of them together. Um, they're just kind of mixed and jumbled and whatever so far. I absolutely love the Revell Mirror Chrome Collection. I feel like it was very, it was actually a very good collection that was released. Um, I feel like there was a lot of hype about it 
And I feel like sometimes there's so much hype with their veil. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, I want it, I want it, I want it. And then it's released and people are like, okay, I didn't really like it as much as it, it as much as I thought it was. Um, or things like that. Um, but I really like these. There was a lot of people talking about them. Um, even after the ambassadors put their swatches at, out, they were like, oh my gosh, I think I need it. I feel like a lot of people bought the majority or all of the collection. I know a lot of people bought the crown just because so many people have been wanting a rose gold and I feel like Ravel finally hit it with this rose gold. Um, and I'm, I say finally, I'm just saying like there's a lot of other dip companies have been trying to release a rose gold and I feel like Ravel did it. Like this is a very good rose gold. I feel like it just, it works so good. Let me see if I can show the rose gold so I feel like it's very much rosy but not to where it looks like it is just a pink with some glitter in it um, because there are some of those out there I don't think they were created to be made as a rose gold I think they were created to be pink with glitter but um, they kind of it kind of looked like a rose gold but it kind of didn't um, and then I'm going to show you very quickly to wrap this video up, um, the December Sparkling Co. Um, gels, polishes on swatches since I did show you the Januaries. Um, and I feel like they go together so well that you could do a mani with just these three colors. Um, I love that they kind of pair it together so it's not a collection but they kind of go together so it's not something you have to wear together or you know things like that but they complement each other um and I love I love 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 that about that okay all right thanks guys thanks for watching